Isang magandang araw muli sa ating lahat. Ako si Teacher Ray dito sa Mathinko Studio. At uh, tayo ay nasa quarter 4 na ng ating pag-aaral sa taon na to. Kaya naman, kung gusto mong matuto, maging alerto, maging talentado at laging anda, sabayan mo ako hanggang sa dulo ng ating talakayan. So ano pang inante natin? Para na at kumpisahan na natin ang ating pag-aaral. Ang tatalakayin natin sa linggong ito ay volume and unit of measure. Name and use appropriate units of measure for volume. And conversion. Convert cubic centimeter to cubic meter and vice versa. Convert cubic centimeter to liter and vice versa. So, ang unang tatalakayin natin ay volume and unit of measure. So, the unit of measure used for volume, it depends on the size of the solid figure. Example, if the solid figure measuring more than 1 cubic meter, we use cubic meter. If it is less than cubic meter, we use cubic centimeter. Or, mas mababa pang unit of measure ang gagamitin natin dito. Example, yung isang swimming pool. Uh, na may sukat naman nito na mahigit pa sa isang metro, so ang gagamitin natin doon para makuha yung volume nito ay cubic meter. So, ganun lang po yun kasimple. Yung isang basong tubig, alangan naman na pwedeng uh, gamitin yung cubic meter, eh, wala naman isang metrong tubig, o wala naman isang metro yung baso natin. So, pwede natin gamitin doon ay cubic centimeter or mas mababa pang unit of measure. Okay? Now, let us proceed to conversion. Conversion of units is the conversion between different units of measurement for the same quantity, typically through multiplicative conversion factors. Ang conversion factors na tinatawag is used to change the units of measured quantity without changing its value. Tingnan nyo to. Ito ay 100 centimeter. Okay? And then, i-change natin ang unit nito into meter. Pero tingnan nyo yung laki nila, yung sukat nila. Di ba pareho? So, ayan po ang tinatawag nating conversion of units. Uh, magkaiba man yung number or yung bilang at saka yung unit of measure na ginamit Pero yung laki nito at value nito ay magkasing laki sila. Okay, so dumako na tayo sa convert larger unit to smaller unit. So narito ang ating conversion table. So meron tayo dito value units, then value units. So dito sa topic na to, i-convert natin yung larger unit to smaller unit unit. So, nandito, 1 cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 cubic decimeter. It means, yung uh, cubic meter ay uh, mas malaki kumpara po sa cubic decimeter. So, kung paano nakuha yung 1,000 na cubic decimeter, 10 times 10 times 10. Okay? So, yung 1 cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 cubic decimeter. Then, yung 1 cubic decimeter is equivalent to 1,000 cubic centimeter. Then, yung 1 cubic centimeter is equivalent to 1,000 cubic millimeter. Okay? So, example tayo. Convert 23 cubic meter to cubic decimeter. So, ito yung i-convert natin. Yung cubic meter to cubic decimeter. So, in 1 cubic meter, that is equivalent to 1,000 cubic decimeter. So, let us use the conversion factor. So, 23 cubic meters times 1,000 cubic decimeter over 1 cubic meter. At gagamitan natin ito ng cancellation method. So, tatanggalin natin yung cubic meter na dalawa. Hanggat ang matitira na lamang ay ang cubic decimeter na kung saan 
Doon natin i-convert yung 23. Then, multiply natin. 23 times 1,000 cubic decimeter. And, the answer is 23,000 cubic decimeter. So, yung 23 cubic millimeter, convert it into cubic decimeter is equal to 23,000. Next, example. Convert 15 cubic meter to cubic centimeter. So, ito yung cubic meter. I-convert natin siya sa cubic centimeter. So, using the conversion factors. So, 15 cubic meter times 1,000 cubic decimeter over 1 cubic meter multiplied by 1,000 cubic centimeter over 1 cubic decimeter. Paano nakuha o saan natin nakuha yung dalawa? So, ito po yun, yung 1,000 cubic decimeter at ito naman ang 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, dalawa yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, ngayon, i-cancel na natin yung uh, cubic meter and then i-cancel din natin yung cubic decimeter na ang matitira na lang ay cubic centimeter. And then, multiply na natin. 15 times 1 million. Saan nakuha yung 1 million? 1,000 times 1,000 is equal to 1 million. Then, 15 times 1 million cubic centimeter, the answer is 15 million cubic centimeter. Okay? Okay? So, kung gusto nyo ng shortcut, ito siya. Okay? So, gamitin pa rin natin yung example natin kanina. So, 15 cubic meter times 1 million cubic centimeter. So, saan natin kinuha yung 1 million cubic centimeter? Okay, so bago nyan, i-cancel muna natin yung cubic meter kasi ang, ang uh, i-convert natin ay meter to cubic centimeter. So, alamin natin kung saan natin nakuha yung 1 million. Ito siya. Okay? So, bilangin ninyo kung ilang zero meron dun sa may yellow. Meron tayong 6 na zero. And then, 1 times 1 is 1. So, yan ay 1 million. Okay? So, ayan. So, pag minultiply natin yan, 15 million cubic centimeter. So, ayan po yung shortcut kung marunong na tayo at kabisado na natin ang ating conversion table. Okay? Next example tayo. Convert 8 cubic meter to cubic millimeter. So, ito siya. Then, i-convert natin dito sa pinakababa. Okay? So, using the conversion factor, so, 8 cubic meter multiplied by 1,000 cubic decimeter over 1 cubic meter times 1,000 cubic centimeter over 1 cubic decimeter times 1,000 cubic millimeter over 1 cubic centimeter. So, cancellation method. Tanggalin natin. Okay, yung pala nang galing yung 1,000. Yan din yung 1,000 at yan yung 1,000. Okay. So, bago tayo magpatuloy, i-cancel muna natin yung cubic meter. I-cancel din natin yung cubic decimeter. At i-cancel natin ang cubic centimeter. Na ang matitira na lang ay cubic millimeter. So, ngayon, i-multiply natin. So, 8 times 1 billion. So, 1,000 times 1,000 times 1,000. That is... 1 billion. Okay? So, 8 times 1 billion is 8 billion cubic millimeter. Yun po ang uh, uh, pag-convert natin yung 8 cubic meter to cubic millimeter. Or, next, ito pa rin tayo, no? So, sa so shortcut din, meron din tayong shortcut na ginawa natin kagaya kanina. So, 8 cubic uh, meter, multiply na natin agad ng uh, 1 billion. Saan natin kinuha yung 1 billion? Ayun. Okay. So, ayan. And then, 8 times 1 billion, that is 8 billion cubic millimeter. Okay. So, kung marunong ka na, gaya sabi ko kanina, kung marunong ka na sa conversion table, pwede mo nang gawin itong shortcut method na ngayon naman, i-convert natin yung smaller unit to larger unit. So, ito ang conversion table natin. So, smaller to larger unit. 
So, meron tayo yung value units and value units. So, in 1 cubic millimeter is equivalent to 1,000 cubic centimeter. Okay? So, kung paano nakuha yan, i-divide natin ng 10 divided by 10 then divided by 10. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, mas maliit yung value ng millimeter kumpara sa centimeter. Or mas maliit yung millimeter, mas malaki yung centimeter. Okay? So, yung 1 cubic centimeter naman ay uh, ganun din, 1,000 cubic uh, decimeter. And then, yung 1 cubic decimeter, that is equivalent to 1,000 cubic meter. Okay? So, example number 1. Convert 18 cubic millimeter to cubic centimeter. Ito siya. At ito. Kung, kung makikita nyo, magkatapat lang sila. So, let us use the conversion method. 18 cubic millimeter multiplied by 1,000 cubic centimeter over 1 cubic millimeter. So, ngayon, i-cancel natin yung uh, millimeter at ang matitira ay cubic centimeter. So, multiply natin. 18 times 1,000 cubic centimeter. The answer is 18,000 cubic centimeter. Okay? So, Ayan, or paano nakuha? I-move lang natin yung decimal point ng 18 papunta sa kaliwa ng tatlong beses. Okay? Yung nawawalang number dyan, lagyan natin ng 0 and then point and then 0. So, ganyan po ang pagkuha ng conversion uh, convert smaller unit to larger unit. Ngayon naman, i-convert natin yung smaller unit to larger unit. So, ito ang conversion table natin. So, smaller to... Okay, so let us proceed to our next example. Convert 18 cubic millimeter to cubic decimeter. So, ito yung i-convert natin. Papunta sa cubic decimeter. So, using the conversion factors, 18 cubic millimeter times 1 millionth cubic decimeter over 1 cubic millimeter. So, cancel natin yung cubic millimeter hanggat ang matitira ay cubic decimeter. Then, i-multiply natin. Saan nga ba na ko yung 1 millionth cubic decimeter? Tingnan nyo to. Ayan, meron siyang tatlong na digit after the decimal point. Meron din siyang tatlong digit after the decimal points. So, all in all, meron siyang anim na digit after the decimal point. At ito po yun. Okay? Ngayon, i-multiply natin. So, ang sagot dun is 18th million cubic decimeter. Okay? So, ganun lang po yun kasimple. Huwag malito. Ito siya. Move the decimal point 6 step backward to the left. So, yung uh, 18, mag-backward mag tayo ng 6 na step at ito ang makukuha natin sagot. Okay? Next example. So, convert 5 uh, cubic centimeter to cubic meter. So, ito na tayo. Ayan. Ang ikaw-convert natin. So, 5 cubic uh, centimeter times 1 million cubic meter is equal to 1 cubic centimeter. Okay? Cancel natin yung cubic centimeter na dalawa. At ang matitira ngayon ay cubic meter. And then, multiply natin. 5 times 1 million cubic meter is equal to... Ayan. Kagaya kanina, may tatlong digit after the decimal point. Yung dalawa... Okay, so meron din dito sa baba na anim. So, 5 times 1 million cubic decimeter, that is 5 million cubic decimeter. So, pareho lang yun kanina na ginawa natin. Okay? Move the decimal point 6 steps backward to the left. Doon sa 5 natin. Then now, convert cubic centimeter to liter and vice Versa. Okay? So, ngayon, 
So, 1 liter is equivalent to 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, yun ang katumbas, ha, ng isang litro. Ang katumbas nito is 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, example tayo. So, convert 25 liter to uh, cubic centimeter. So, yung 25 liters times 1,000 cubic centimeter over 1 liter. So, ngayon, i-cancel uh, natin yung liter at matitira doon ay cubic centimeter. Then, i-multiply lang natin. 25 times 1,000 cubic centimeter over 1, that is 25,000 cubic centimeter. Okay? Ngayon, balik tarin natin. 1 cubic centimeter is equivalent to 1,000 liter. Tandaan yung 1,000 niya is, ano to ah, yung um, decimal, decimal number tayo, or decimal place value, yung 1,000 liter. Example, convert 25,000 cubic centimeter to liter. Okay? So, ngayon, 25,000 cubic centimeter, multiply natin by 1,000 liter over 1 cubic centimeter. So, i-cancel natin yung cubic centimeter at ang matitira doon ay liter. Then, 25,000 times 1,000 liter, ayan, is equal to 25 liters. Paano nangyari? Move the decimal point 3 steps to the left. Yung 25,000 natin. Mag-move daw tayo ng uh, 3 steps to the left. So, ito siya, o. Oh. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, nandun ang decimal point natin. So, dahil yung tatlo, at tatlong zero na siya, pwede na natin siyang tanggalin. At ang sagot dun is 25 liters. Okay? Huwag malito sa mga proseso na ginawa natin sa conversion of units. Okay, so bago tayo magpaalam, mag-shoutout muna tayo sa ating mga subscribers. Si Kyle Jenkins L. Velardo, Tommy Labaha, Claudio Relay 631, Adi Cabeza, Rica Mordelos Reyes, Micaela Isabel, Samuels, Prince William Perez, Maricel Chica, Angel Lee, Jana Beltran, Alexa Cassandra B. Banayad, Razelin Araw, Michelle Samujo, Gelo Mata, and Jennifer Chua, at lahat ng mga estudyante ng Tineheros Elementary School, Grade 5 na under sa akin. Maraming maraming salamat sa suporta at walang sawang pagsubaybay sa ating mga video. Kung hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na po at huwag kalimutan i-click ang notification bell para lagi po kayong updated sa ating mga susunod na video. So hanggang sa muli, ito si Teacher Rai nagsasabing paalam, God bless everyone, keep safe and goodbye!